How you doing? I'm Jack from Jack's Meat Shack and today we're going to cook some chicken wings on the Ninja Foodie Max Grill. The Ninja Foodie Max Grill is an indoor grilling machine. It's got five different settings, bake, roast, air fry, reheat and dehydrate. So what we're going to do today is use the air frying mode to crisp up some chicken wings. Really, really simple recipe, something that you can recreate at home, no fuss, cheap to make and always a fan favourite. So we've got a kilo of wings from Lidl. To prepare them, it's so easy. All we're going to do is open them up. They've already been prepared quite well, so they've had the wing tips taken off. It's going to go into our bowl. And then with our clean hand, it's going to put a little drip of rapeseed oil in because when these are cooking, they're actually gonna produce some of their own natural fats. So that will help to crisp them up in the air fryer basket of the Ninja Foodie Max. And then what we're gonna do is just give them a mix. And then hit them with our rub, our 5 -0 grunt rub. Make sure they're evenly coated. And I think when we're done, we're gonna make some barbecue sauce. Let's go with them. So we've prepped our wings, really simple, a little bit of rapeseed oil, the rub of your choice, give them a mix, let the rub sit for about five, 10 minutes just so it adheres to that skin. And then we're gonna get them into the Ninja Fruity Max Grill. It's idiot proof basically. You turn it on, set the temperature like an oven, it preheats, and then when it's ready to have food put in it, it says on the front of it, add food. It's no brainer basically. So what we're gonna do now is put our chicken wings in, and it actually comes with a frying basket, an air frying basket. It's got holes in the bottom, so it allows the fat to circulate around the unit, crisping up your food. So we're gonna get the wings in. Already making a nice sear. And away we go. You might be thinking, but Jack, why are you cooking on something that's meant for inside, outside? Why not? It's a nice day. I wanted to make a video, so why not use this little contraption here? It's pretty awesome. I used it the other day to make a mixed grill. Blown away by how much you can actually fit on it. Yeah, you're never going to actually recreate the food that comes off a barbecue, but it's pretty close. And when the winter hits, and not being funny when it gets dark at four o'clock and it's minus five, let's see how many people are outside still barbecuing. It's time to check our wings, 25 minutes in, 200 degrees, and these wings look, I'll show you. Seriously, these look amazing. And I've made a really, really simple sauce to go with them. Chicken wing sauce, three ingredients, two tablespoons of moose maple butter, other butters are available, but they're not as good as this a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and half a bottle of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. So what we're gonna do now is get the wings out into a bowl, put the sauce on, let them sit, and then we're gonna eat. It's that simple. Okay, and now it's time to sauce our wings. So literally, we're gonna get our barbecue, well, hot sauce we made, pour it over. Oh, wow. What am I doing? Should be showing you all. Who's that? 
now our wings are done. So it's a simple case of just serving them up. And I'm pretty lazy when it comes to serving things, so I like to put them on boards. And this is what we've got right here. A nice board. Oh, drop one. But wow, yeah, these smell pretty damn amazing. So that was chicken wings on the Ninja Foodi Grill Max and I won't inflict the sight of me chomping down one of these upon you. So let me just say thanks for watching and I will see you all again very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe though.